Hey guys, it's Katie from HeyKatie.net and it is day seven of Vita. I'm a little confused because um, I've been traveling all day. I just got back to Salt Lake from LA and um, I wanted to just do a really quick sort of um, update. I ended up going to Staples uh, yesterday and I obviously had a couple of gift cards that I got from my Staples event that I went to and um, I was looking around for primarily office storage. Uh, I kind of decided against the whole school supplies thing. I mean, some of the stuff I bought could double as school supplies, but I really decided to kind of focus on my own love of um, supplies for my office. And I've been in need of some new things for my bullet journal and um, really just trying to create some storage. So a few of the things that I bought, um, I bought some new pens because come on, it's me, I have to buy pens. So I got a whole set of the Sharpie fine liners because I think I have, I have like seven or eight, but I wanted a whole bunch more with lots of colors. Um, and then I've got these Papermate Inkjoy pens, again, in various colors. And I've heard really, really good things about these. These are ballpoint pens uh, with ultra smooth ink and a comfortable grip. And these are one millimeter medium point pens. And they're the clicky top kind, so you click them to make the pen. And then I've got these Papermate ones, which again, um, are the world's smoothest pen, apparently. And they've got new colors. Again, it's ballpoint pen. Um, and these are 1.4 millimeters. So again, medium, but kind of nice. And it has this little thing where you can reach through and feel the comfortable grip. And it is rather comfortable. So after buying pens, I also bought a few of these uh, three packs of like storage cups. Um, and I have a little tray that I have a lot of my pens and stuff in. And these have this tiny little um, thing right here where you can actually set them on the edge of something. So I'm gonna set them all around the top edge of my tray and hopefully I can use them for storing some of these pens I just bought and some other things. Um, I also bought some colored duct tape. I've got, um, well, you can probably see, I've got this gold right here, and then I've got pink and yellow as well. And I'm gonna use these actually for decorating um, some stuff. I'm gonna be making a storage set of my own uh, later that I saw on Pinterest. And I'm also going to use them to actually wrap around these because these are kind of ugly um, for my aesthetic. Uh, dark blue and I got gray and I mean, they're not very pretty, are they? So I'm gonna use these and just kind of make a nice little pattern so that they're a little prettier because we know that pretty is everything. Um, the other thing that I got that I'm really excited about, um, and again, all these from Staples and they're really cheap. So I think the cup sets were like three bucks a piece, um, which is good. And then the pens, okay, I'll be honest, the pens were ridiculously expensive. Um, and I think they're gonna be that price wherever you get them. <laughs> Um, so I was just really glad to have the Staples gift cards to offset that cost because I think the big pack of these, I think it was $25. That's a lot of money. Hang on. What? Yeah, you can mix colors. They want to mix colors in their Play-Doh. Um, but the other thing that I got that I was actually super, super stoked about because I've been trying to figure this out for ages is this. Ah, it's a Scotch uh, brand Expressions Tape Dispenser. Um, Scotch makes a brand of washi tape and I have so many washi tapes. Um, some of them are Scotch brands. Some of them are imported from Japan. Some of them are off brand, you know, kind of, I mean, I've got like, uh, this is kid made modern paper tape. Um, and it's just kind of, it's not as good as regular washi tape because it's kind of, it's not the stickiest. So it doesn't keep stuck to things very easily. And they're very plain colors, but they're very good for, um, labels. Like if you want to write something in your journal or, um, just have it so that it doesn't soak through the paper. You write it on this and it's perfect. Um, it's also good for just decorating and stuff. It doesn't, like I said, it doesn't do as well as traditional washi tape, but it works. Um, so with all of my brands of washi tape, I needed some sort of washi storage. And I've seen things on YouTube where you can make your own out of a shoebox and some dowels and things like that, and some hacksaw blades. And that's really cool and all, but I don't really have the time or the um, ability to go out and buy all the stuff for it and bring it back so I can make it. 
um, much as I would love to. And I'm, maybe at some point I will uh, attempt it. Sorry, there's some tape on all sides of this. And I'm just trying to untape it. Uh, meanwhile, I'm using up all the time here. Uh, okay, so anyway, I'm just going to rip it. <laughs> rip. Okay, there. Um, so this is what it looks like. And it's basically just this little bin on a nice hinge uh, in the corner here that goes along. And you can basically undo it and then open it and then inside sorry you can't see inside right now there's just a cardboard pretend washi tape so you just pull that out and then there is this little tube which you can pull out and set um your washi tape on so you can just kind of over here i've just kind of already got a bunch ready oh gosh and you just stick them on there. You gotta make sure that the tape is actually going the correct way because there is, um, once you get it inside, right on the edge here, there is, you can hear that? That's a serrated little edge so you can cut the tape. Um, which is nice, cause then it's more like scotch tape, you know, when you have it on the dispenser and it's easier to remove um the label the packaging says it can fit eight to ten rolls of washi tape now you might be able to see here i think i have 11 rolls and i have um i already did this i got about two of these so i've already got 11 rolls on here as well i probably could fit one more on each one but it's really simple to put in so where's the edge i want to make sure i got these going the right way so i gotta put them this way because it gets a little tricksy um, so anyway, you just take the end and you stick it. There's, um, on one side, you can, I don't know if you can see it very well. Stay, stay. On one side, there's an actual, like, all the way around hole. And on the other side, there is just a half of one, half moon. So obviously you got to stick it in the whole one and then push it down on the half moon. So, moon the ring, yes. So basically, let me show you, stick it in the hole on this side. And then on this side, you just press it into place. Aces, just like that. And so then you can keep it closed. And then when you need to open it, you need a, you want one of the colors, you just pull it back, pull the tape forward onto the little cutting edge and pull off what you need, which is a lot easier than what I've been doing, which is using scissors. Um, washi tape does cut really easily with your fingers. You can just rip it. It's most of them are really easy, um, but there are some that are a little trickier, and so I use scissors for those. And if I want a straight line, especially, like if I'm trying to, for instance, um, decorate my bullet journal, obviously I want it to be a nice straight line on either side. So I use scissors for that generally because whatever the last cut was probably wasn't straight. Um, but now I won't have that problem. So these were um, about $7 a piece at Staples. Um, which I think is a fantastic deal. And like I said, I'm pretty sure I can fit at least, yeah, probably one more roll in each one, which would be 12 rolls. Um, that's not nearly enough for all of my washi tape. I mean, just right here, you can see. I've got just tons more. I've just got a bunch on the ground and there's still more in my tray over here. Uh, so I will probably in all likelihood invest in a few more of those uh, because it's really nice to have things like that just put away because my one-year-old, his favorite thing in the world is to come into my tray and steal my washi tape. Um, I don't know if it's the colors or what, but he takes them and he steals them. And it's infuriating because he wastes them or he'll hide them somewhere. And I find them, you know, a month later. So that's it for today. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know about these incredibly cool washi tape dispensers. And uh, like I said, go to Staples. You probably can buy them on Amazon. I'll see if I can find a link to it. Otherwise, I'm sure they're in most office supply stores because it's Scotch brand. Um, and I'm sure there are others, but this one I just thought was such a good deal for seven bucks uh, for um, one and, you know, 14 bucks for two. Uh, so that's it for today. Again, sorry that this isn't the best <laughs> Vita uh, video, but it's definitely better than yesterday's. So give me a thumbs up for that. 
Uh, otherwise, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Uh, I don't know. I may not get this one actually uploaded today, but it will be here soon. So if you're watching this and it's a day late, I apologize. Um, I am trying to bond with my family right now because I've been away for a few days. So anyway, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it because obviously uh, I'm, I'm getting a few new ones and I appreciate it. You guys are awesome and I'm trying to go to all your channels and subscribe as well. Um, and I'll keep doing that. I want to liaise with people and meet new people. So, you know, leave me a comment too, if you can get around to it. Uh, and otherwise check out my blog, heykatie.net. That's H-E-Y-K-A-T-I-E.net. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another vlogging every day in August video. See you later. Bye.